love you, honey. Thank you. What did you do? Hey, I'm Wendy Valencia. This is my husband Mauricio and my daughter Melina. She's six. And on this channel, we talk all things family finance all the time. Probably more than most people ever want to talk about family finance. So if that is something that interests you, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below. Today I wanted to talk to you about something that comes up fairly often on this channel money and marriage. But today we're going to get real specific. We're going to talk about money and my marriage. More specifically, the way I treat Mauricio when he overspends. See, some people say that I'm actually really too hard on Mauricio when he overspends. They say, Wendy, when you spend money on Amazon, you just justify it. But when you talk about Mauricio buying something he wants, you're kind of a grump about it. Before we dive really deep into this conversation, I just want to warn you, I know my husband, he's going to do something obnoxious today. He's going to jump into this conversation and imply to you that he is poor and mistreated. He is not. We are very nice to him here in the Valencia household. So don't buy it. It's an act. See, this is part of our everyday life dynamic. We joke, we have really strong senses of humor and this kind of teasing happens pretty much all the time. Parties, work, social occasions, brushing your teeth, even at line in the grocery store waiting to pay. Oh, that poor cashier. She never knew what was coming. See, on our channel, we are the way we are in real life. We play, we have fun, there's a lot of teasing and being silly. And while it looks like I'm picking on him, we're just playing. In every sense of the word, Mauricio and I are one financial team. Every cent he spends, I know about, and every cent I spend, he knows about. It's kind of an unwritten rule in this house. Well, except for that $20 he spent on Clash of Clans, because I really didn't know about that, and that's why there were actual words, legitimately. That was real. In my house, we have monthly budget meetings. We discuss anything and everything that is coming up, and discuss the potential pitfalls for our financial decisions for that month. So Mauricio's overspending is always approved, as is mine. And the truth of the matter is that all of this overspending isn't actually overspending. It's all written into the budget beforehand. But Wendy, we never see those expenses in your budget plan videos. There are two reasons that you never see that kind of stuff in our budget plan videos. The first is really simple. They, they're expenses that come up mid-month as the month is going along, and I just look at the numbers and write them into the budget. But those are really rare. The second one is a bit more complex. See, I like to have the budget plan video that you see at the beginning of every month filmed and uploaded before the month actually starts. And filming and editing take time. Since we generally have our budget meeting on the last day of every month, by the time we go into the budget meeting, I've already filmed and uploaded the budget plan video. And sometimes you've even already seen it. And in the budget meeting, everything changes. That's actually why I do a mid-month budget update. So you can see the changes that we made to the original budget, the one I planned, that occur after the budget meeting. That way, everything doesn't come as a complete shock to you at the end of the month. So in our budget meeting, we look at what's coming up and we make the changes that are necessary to our budget. Sometimes there's a lot, sometimes there's not a ton. But we make those changes. So frequently in the mid-month budget update, I'm talking about things that happened before the month even began. This is why it frequently looks like we are really off plan when we aren't actually. Because again, keep in mind, we are firm believers in as long as it's in the budget, it is acceptable. One of these days I'm gonna have to do like a pre-budget meeting budget versus a post-budget meeting budget. So you can see what kind of changes we actually make in that. Cause sometimes they're pretty drastic. So this is all to say, it's important to be able to communicate openly about money, about finances, and with a sense of humor because money's intense. Money can break marriages. And so if you can learn to look at finances and laugh and make fun of yourself 
you're going to be happier. You're going to have a happier life. And while not everybody is in that place, I get that. That's the place that I am. And that's the place I want to stay. Because honestly, Mauricio and I are very, very happy together. We couldn't act like this if we weren't very happily married. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.